Okay, I've got 5 o'clock. I'm going to call this meeting to order July 25th, 2024 at 5 o'clock. I'm going to ask Paul Stratton for a word of prayer, please. Father in heaven, we come before you to beseech you to display, to display the, the wisdom of Solomon upon the civic council for the betterment of the people of Hartford. God us in the path you choose for us. And we give you honor and glory and praise in here, Jesus. Holy precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Um, before you have the minutes of the last meeting, after reviewed, I'll ask for a motion to pass the minutes. Or deny. I make a motion. I have a motion by Mary Bell. Second. Second by Stacia. All in favor say aye. Aye. Polls like side. Motion carries. Um, now we'll go on down to the city attorney. Tara. Mayor, I do have some things I need to address for the council. You I'm might. Since I'm on a limited uh, timetable tonight, I'm going to have to leave a little early. Uh, Nancy may be coming. Uh, she had mentioned that. She may be running late. The first thing you'll see before you tonight is uh, New Ordinance 2024 This is the amendment to the text amendment to the Planning and Zoning Ordinance that Nancy had previously discussed and brought to the council. We had not heard from either Hartford or Beaver Dam about any changes. So, what I've done is I've taken what she had proposed and drafted an ordinance that will make those amendments. This is obviously just a first reading, so there can be some small changes between now and, and the final reading, and it obviously does need to be passed by Beaver Dam as well. But uh, attached to the ordinance are the uh, exhibits which outline the areas that are going to be changed. Uh, the biggest issue that I think everybody is kind of aware of is the change to the business districts. To the what? Exhibit B, the change to the business districts. It just changes to kind of be a little bit more modern and to uh, adhere better to our newly adopted comprehensive plan, making it easier for businesses and identifying a little bit some of the uh, the troublesome areas that were kind of confusing and uh, that were contradicting each other in our existing ordinance. This clarifies some of that of what can and can't go. It limits us from having to constantly having to do zoning changes, we think, and make, should make it easier moving forward on that. Um, and then Exhibit C is an updated sign regulations to comply with the new uh, federal and Supreme Court decisions that have come out about the First Amendment and how it reflects on different types of signage and to make sure that we are legally compliant there. So in uh, the first one is just Article 2, the terms and definitions which we've updated to reflect some of these new sections that we are updating in our ordinance. So everything is, that you see before you is what Nancy has previously kind of talked to the council about. This is just worked into the first reading. And again, there may be a couple small changes, a few additions or <coughs> deletions, but this just goes ahead and gets that clock run until we get a second reading scheduled. Okay. Do we, uh, Tara, do you care to read that first part of it? You might want to count. Okay. Station, we take care of that. Uh, City of Hartford Ordinance Number 2024-03, an ordinance of the City of Hartford, Kentucky, adopting text amendments to the zoning ordinance as recommended by the Hartford Beaver Dam Planning Commission, specifically amending Articles 2, Article 2, Terms and Definitions, Article 6, Section 670-673, with respect to business districts, and Article 11, Sign Regulations. Thank you. Again, that is the uh, that'll be the first reading of it. And if there's any discussions at the next meeting, by all means, get a hold of Tara and Nancy or myself, and, and see if there's any corrections or deletions of, of what you think might not be fitting. So I might have found out. Did you get a motion to say? It's the first reading. It's the first, first reading. Okay. Okay. Uh, the next matter, Mayor. Is Want me to address it or if you'd rather? Uh, you can go on and address okay. that. The, um, the parking lot here across on Main Street next to my office owned by the Andy Anderson Corporation where the county had often parked for years before they built this parking lot. Uh, Mr. Anderson has decided to sell and approach the city and um, the mayor thought that that would be a very good opportunity for the city to invest in that since it's something that is widely used regularly for the city um, and, it, and it, and it benefits our downtown area. Um, so I, he asked me to draft paperwork and to look into it. 
I do have a purchase contract here for the property. It is a, it is a very large lot encompassing the depth of a city block there yeah. and one half of the, of the block right And basically the lot right beside Roxanne yes. Allen's property. So. Uh, well, it didn't include all the way down there. Okay. It's just the lot of the parking lot okay. they brought to me. Okay, okay. Um, but uh, for 150000 so before we can move forward, they're looking, Mr. Anderson's leaving town tomorrow, so he was hoping if is that something the city wants to do to get approval tonight so we can possibly close tomorrow. And I will say for, for the crowd, um, he has investors, and that's why I think it's important that we move forward on this as well. Uh, this is an investment that it can be passed down from mayor to councils because we... We, we are leasing the property now for, I think, $750 a year. Um, so I feel like it's wise that we and it, we can re renovate that as time comes as well. So I think it's very important to my... To my now this is the parking lot and the, where the ORC plant was? This is the parking lot. Remember that? Par the that parking lot, lot. yeah. yeah. And, and the, 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 the plant next to Roxanne? Oh. Now, he said that uh, wasn't, but I'll talk to him about I, I was that. Say, if I that thought is, that's I what it was. Out, but what, that, what was brought to me Yeah, was I think point. that's it might be the parking lot is what she said. I thought it was the other one, but I'll check on it as well. Yeah, I'd include both of them. Okay. All right. Um, do, you, do you all have any objection to go on and purchase this parking lot and I'll get the information on the other property? And I would like to ask if, if we have a motion on the floor to take that out of uh, ARPA funds. I'll make the motion. I have a first by Mary Bell. No, second. Second by Jerry Likens. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like side, motion carries. Can we have, is there some kind of t contingency if the other's available and that's additional? So he has several properties that's fixing to come up, but this was the most important one that I've foreseen. And and Tara, if you can contact Colin or Andy, basically behind and that lot right there. The one right there next to the museum yes. that, that touches Roxanne. Yes. If that's something that you all would, that you I, thought was included, yes. I would clarify. That. And if it's nice. not, it, we, we would like to see that and the, the old building down there, the abandoned building that he owns back there too. Does he own that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, David, does he own that one? So. You talking about the cleaners building next to? Right behind the Times News office by, the by Oceda. Where the roof the, is kind of yeah. bad? That's, I thought that was for Trees Rainbow. I, I yeah. think it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think you're right. Okay. All right. So, uh, okay. So, I got that motion carried. I voted on that. Perfect. We'll move forward to that and I'll contact Colin. The last issue that I have to bring to the council judge is a personal matter that we will need to go into closed session regarding. I'll make a motion that we go into closed session. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like that. Motion carried. No business taken care of at that time. Personnel issues and nothing for discussion in the open meeting. Before you, you have the financial reports, bank statements, and balances. After reviewed, I'll ask for a motion to accept the financial reports. Make the motion to accept it. Oh, I have a first by Mary Bell, second by Tony. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like side, motion carries. Okay, um, I do have something in old business, but it's just basically uh, for an update. So, Chris couldn't be here. Um, basically, at the last meeting in the old business part of it, the mixer that they was talking about at the water tire, um, he's, Jay Hoffman is working on a quote on that for the new mixer system. He said it should be less than 40000 to do that, but they're still working numbers. And the, um, the, the raw water line project, should start around October. Eric Hickman with the Ohio County Water Department said they can handle us with given time. So that project that we passed at the last meeting as well, that'll take off in October. And that should do it on Chris. That's all 
old business that I have. It's kind of an update. Okay. Um, in new business, before you have a packet um, for our uh, body cameras for our police department, uh, as you are aware, Chief York um, approached for a grant and it was denied. And so at this time, we are, he's come and approached us with the balance of this. And, and you can look at it as different, however. And you, I think you all have seen this before. Um, basically, for the public that's here, um, this will be something that every officer will have on them any encounters with any individual's public at large. I think it's very, very safety measure that we try to take this accountability on ourselves as well as for the public safety. And for That's exactly right. Um, Roger? Um, as you know, we recently applied for that grant. So basically with that grant, uh, Ballistic vests, firearms, and tasers. They take precedent over the body cameras. So anyway, if we did get awarded funds from the, uh, this Law Enforcement Protection Act grant, uh, it would only pay for the hardware. So uh, basically the, the main amount in that is uh, the licensing, the software that comes along with that. That's pretty much the evidence.com. It goes to the cloud so we can quickly remotely view uh, officer encounters. We could even go in live and view current situations if an officer wants to call or anything like that. So they're very beneficial regarding our actual function. So it's imperative that it, it shows a different level of transparency and accountability that our department would, would have uh, wearing these. So pretty much it, it would be 180. Inter, uh, citizen officer interactions and everything like that and produce a, uh, a lot more of integrity based interaction with uh, the members of our community. And also evidence, I mean, we're questioning, if we was to question someone out of control, we haven't recorded. So we can actually refer it back back, so it has its evidentiary value as well. And that total amount for $42,628. And that is, that is the software, the software and the cameras. cameras. And how long will that, how long will the recordings last? Uh, five years. Okay. So it'll be, the recordings will be an indefinite amount of time. Right. But the software will be five years. And that's something that you can fall back on if, if an individual says, well, this person done this, this person done this, right. we can, you, we, you have that access to follow up with that. Internal investigations that help ease that, ease that um, And what's the life capacity on the cameras itself? Every five years, they give an option to re-up. So we could op they would give us a new set of cameras at cost with training. So it would okay. be very cheap to get new cameras. Uh, every time they come out with a new generation. Okay. Does anybody have any questions for Chief York? I would, when would this be available? For uh, as soon as, I believe the shipping date would be in October. I think the software would probably be, the, I figured the cameras would get here quickly, but the yeah. software would take time to get set up, and you'd have to have the tech to come in. And this company's in charge of the software and everything. Yeah, they, uh, they are in charge of it, and also uh, they will have someone to walk me through, but I also need the assistance with Wayne because we have a uh, firewall, firewall that we would have to give this access to so we can access it. And while I'm at it, Chief, this is a this is a different conversation. We can discuss this later. But would it be beneficial to probably go on and update your computer system in your office, or do you think you it's compatible to keep up with that right now? Um, our current computers that we have, I don't think 
either or. I think only the one has uh, access to uh, newer windows. Okay. Uh, That's something that we can discuss later. Okay. If there's no um, questions for Chief York on this. Um, I have one, Mayor. What, what type of warranty, what if an officer gets in a, a struggle or in a da camera gets damaged? Is it what kind of, I see that there's warranties on here, but it doesn't say what is. Is it full replacement? Is it? It's full replacement. Is it full replacement? Yeah, it's all a la carte here. I think that's just a structure of the quote. But uh, from my understanding, for that five years, it's full replacement unless we re up and if we just re up the software, that is still just continuing over for about five years in the what, what type of personnel measures? So we, we, we get the cameras. What if we have an officer that forgets to turn his camera on? Uh, are we going to put in our, our handbook? that X amount of times the officer doesn't turn it on, this player reaction, or? The initial time that that, that was to occur uh, is actually in policy that they are able to uh, face reprimand. And that's a policy, just so you, you all are aware, we've already passed the policy in, in reference to the grant writing, so that policy's already in effect. So, But yes, that, that, that'll be... Uh, First period. Yeah. We need to give them grace period. I mean, I don't know whether they're heavy or yeah. you know you got them or whatever. They, they're pretty easy to work And that's with. one of those things that <clears throat> it'll take some time to get used to, yeah. as well as the sheriff's office. It took them a little time, and I think, but uh, yes, any 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 actions we're going to have to we're going to have to take that for safety precautions, and and it's to protect the citizens and police officer because it's we have extensive training yeah. as well. So there will be kind of limited type thing. Yeah. So the first week of wearing them, something like that happens. Yeah. Are you making it? Yes, I, if everybody is good and don't have any further questions, I'll ask to have a motion and to accept this bid at forty two well not bid. Um, $42,628.33. I'll make a motion that we accept this bid for body cameras. I'll second. I'll second. Yeah. Yeah. I'll second. Amount. And then, uh, right here. $42,628.33. ARPA. ARPA. Out of the ARPA. Funds. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I'll second that. I have a first by Stacia, second by Jeff. All in favor say aye. Aye. Holds like side, motion carries. Thank you, Chief. All right. Next, you have your, we have the uh, Harford's website. I'm going to let Lisa kind of explain that a little better. There's really, there's nothing in your pocket related to that. Right now, we're with a company called Town Square Media. They're out of Owensboro. Um, it's very difficult to get any change to our website. Our website has been uh, used quite a bit by citizens making online payment for their water bills. Um, but any time that we need to update a form or we would like to have put something on our website about the van transportation, you cannot get it done. Uh, I was talking with Meredith. Meredith has another viewpoint of using the website for the festivals and things like that that she comes up with. And she said that she has had a lot of difficulty and they keep switching her go-to person. Um, we pay right now $297 a month for the service. And um, I have been reluctant about collecting on our and publishing our delinquent property taxes because the city is under the obligation that if we publicly put that out there and have a website that we have to update that website weekly. Last year when I did it, I updated this town square weekly and you have to do that for one month and not one time had it been updated. The downside of that is if I'm a citizen and I haven't paid and I paid my delinquent taxes, I want my name removed. Right. Not to be left up every week because that's supposed to be changed every week. 
So we got several areas going on that is just not being productive for us in our website. Um, we looked into Red Pixel, which they would be willing to create a, a new website. It would be $200 a month, so it's $97 less a uh, month. It's not that big a deal. Um, it is used by, from what Meredith is telling me, most universities in the Owensboro area and businesses, and she knows how to edit and so she could do a lot of our editing for us. So if we just wanted to say uh, something quick, a uh, bull of water notice, we could we could do that. We we're, we're limited really? now and can't yeah, really. They they they're a word. Sorry, buddy. They they are WordPress developers. Ninety nine. You know, if you're looking at a website, ninety nine time, times out of a hundred, they're going to be a WordPress site. Right. And once they get it set up, it's easy to add pages if you ever need to. Mm -hmm. She said they would be available for us if we wanted some little simple ad. They might would charge like they would charge by the hour. But she said something simple like things that I've been asking for, like just a, a van, you know, presentation, mm -hmm. and then that, that would be probably. She said fifteen minutes of editing might be forty dollars. But she said for the most part, I can do all of that. The the only downside on switching to Red Pixel because they're our very reputable company is there is a one-time and initial $8,000 fee to set the website up. So other than that, your monthly is about the same, 297 to 200 um, But we would get better use of our website. And, I mean, just collecting on delinquent taxes is, is enough to recoup your $8,000 initial investment to Red Pixel. Exactly. So Meredith was, was kind of... Um, <coughs> so that 8000 <coughs> will be in, in the front lines of it, and then it'll be the 200 a month. Okay. Yes, for maintenance. All right. Does anybody have any questions for me slash Lisa? <laughs> <laughs> you going to do what to Lisa? I do. <laughs> okay. Do I have a motion to approve the $8,000 for the new red pixel website i make the motion that we enter into an agreement with red pixel I'll to pay them the eight thousand dollars two hundred dollars a month afterwards and get this underway uh what do you want that taken out of? i think you'll take it out of economic development myself i'm i'm fine with that I have a. I mean, it ought to help. Is that include the monthly fee? You want that monthly two hundred dollars to come out of EDC as well? Why not? Okay. As long as it's in there. Okay. We're not using that money for anything right now. No. And if we need some. Yeah, we can follow we what follow back up. I'm fine with that. Okay, I have a first and second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Okay, next, um, need a motion to approve to surplus a 1974 C60 dump truck that was previously used as a uh, leaf slash chip truck, and it's, it's, it's done its fair share for a long time, so I, I feel like it's time that we uh, pass it on, and if I have a motion, I'll... Uh, uh, I'll, I'd like to have a motion that we put it on govdeals.com and see what we can get out of it, and we'll go from there. It, I, I think it does run. It still does run half the time. I'll make a motion to sell it. Okay. I have a motion by Tony. I'll second. Second by Stacia. If it does run, I'll second it. <laughs> Don't take Fred my Flintstone, it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Pulls like sigh. Motion carries. Thank you. The only other, um, I got a couple informational things. Um, one, you you might have seen that they're starting on the wall art down there this week, so that that should be completed by next week. Wow. That's fast. Yeah, and then and then. Um, Tim Griffin, he's going to work on start to downtown speakers, so we'll get that up and running. Hopefully, once they get the, he gets the them mounted, the techs will come back and set it all up, and we'll have music downtown. So it's pretty exciting news. 
Um, and another thing, Buddy couldn't make the, the meeting tonight. He, he left on vacation. Um, just a little update on the Hearts transportation. In the first week, they had 15 passengers. Week two, they had 12 passengers. Um, week three, 13. Week four, four. And then, and he kind of broke it down on phone calls. So starting, he's seen more pickups by phone calls. So starting um, August the 7th or 5th. August the 5th, He's going to do, we're going to do uh, call-ins from residential homes and we'll be able to pick up and take them from there. So we've, we've, hear, we've heard uh, a lot of good positive out of it and we'll still do our pickup drop-off points. I think that's great. So um, if anybody has anything on that, just give it a shout on the phone number. It's 993-4278. And that'll be running Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, so... I think that it's it's taken off, it, and it's in the early stages, and I, I foresee it taking off even more. So. Even better, yeah. So that's all I have. Um, we have visitors in the crowd. David, do you have anything to bring yeah. to the council? Okay. Y'all will uh, put an eye on the, uh, the area down there that's that's underlined in the, uh, the garbage and rubbish and grass and weeds area. Uh, we had a board meeting on July the 5th, and uh, uh, we had uh, discussed some of the issues that we had and had brought up that a lot of our uh, issues that we have are a lot of reoccurring, mm -hmm. uh, just, you know, over and over and over. So... Uh, Mr. Stratford uh, brought up that we need to see about stitching up the, the fines just a little bit. And as you can see there, it's, uh, it's $10 uh, for grass and weeds and $10 for garbage and rubbish the first time, you know. I mean, so what we done is uh, we had a, Mr. Stratford made a motion to make that, change that a little bit and make it uh, $25.50 and 75 straight across the board for both of those. The garbage and rubbish and the grass and weeds. Uh, so that's that's what we're uh, wanting to try to talk to y'all about, see about if we can uh, get that done. You said you said what again on the grass and weeds? We're wanting to try to make it straight across the board. Our first one is going to be, it'll be, it'll be 25, 50, and 75 for both of them. Um, we've got 25 and 50 down there on weeds. Yeah, we want, we're going to make it, we're going to change that. And we're going to make it, yeah, 25, 50, and 75. Uh, make them both the same straight across the board. Because uh, like I said, you know, uh, a lot of these is all repetition or the same ones over and over and over. And I think that, uh, or we thought that, you know, maybe if we raise it up just a little bit, there'll be a little bit more, you know, Pay attention add, to the about, street, you know, Cleaning up rather than than uh, thing. And, and another thing is since our last meeting uh, 27, I've gave I've given out uh, 10 warnings, uh, five citations, who's been taken care of, and uh, so you know they're uh, you know, they're they're cleaning up, but we just got to, it's just like pulling teeth. Well, oh, it is, it is. But you know we're we're getting it done and. Uh, uh, we just wanted to see what y'all thought about that and if y'all yeah. could help us out with that. Uh, yeah. May I add something? Yes, else? yes, I'm sorry. Um, one thing that we wanted to add is if, uh, if somebody didn't mow the yard and we find them, uh, gave them warning, and then next time we find them and they pay the fine, then the next time uh, we would warn them again. We've done away with that because you can like get a warning and then pay the ten dollars and then get a warning and then pay ten dollars. We're you get one warning and if you pay it, you don't reset the clock back to warning. 
you're just uh, continue where we got, right? Sounds good to me. Like within within like like a set time, like within like a year, a year's time, you know, it can it can carry over because like you said, you know, I'm gonna give Bo a, a warning and he goes and pays his fine and then you know, next week he doesn't think he's going back to a warning, you know. We'll just continue that fine on up until within that within that year, you know. Uh, so would that specific what? language be written in the... That, so that, that, that something of this nature will have to go in front of Tara yeah. for uh, ordinance change. Um, and if the council agrees to that, we'll, we will uh, give it to Tara and vote on it at the next meeting. So I got, I got a question, Mayor. So out of these last ten warnings and five citations you you uh, issued, how many of those were for the the grass and how many for trash and garbage and stuff? Was all of them was well, all of them was for for, uh, for grass and weeds. I think uh, one was for or two was for trash and or garbage and rubbish, and uh, the rest of them are grass and weeds. Is, is well, what, what what he? I know you're part of the the uh, the board. What if he, we even stiffen those fines even more? Maybe go fifty, seventy five, a hundred. And and that's that's fine. I just don't know what our what, you know that would be worth terrible. You know, and like I said, I'm not out to try to break anybody or, or you know or cause significant financial issues with anybody. I just think that if they see that, you know, it's a little bit stiffer than they'll come more to. But like I said, I don't want to. Right. But I don't know what our I don't know what our regulations are on what we can charge and what we can't. Well, I know if I mm -hmm. if I seen a citation or a warning that I might have to pay fifty dollars for not mowing my grass, it's yes. going to make me. Exactly. I would mow my grass exactly. instead of paying yes. the city of Hartford fifty dollars yeah. and then. Next week, maybe, or 10 days later, be 75. Yeah. So I, I would just say a stiffer fine would get probably more action. It might get, yeah, so and like I can't. said, I just didn't we know where we could go with this. this. You know, that's where it would come I have, a, what you do I have a question. Oh, okay. Go ahead. So in, in given these citations and these warnings and such, are you finding... I'm playing the devil's advocate here and it's my soft heart. But are you finding where there's any elderly or somebody's mower just broke down or is it just repeat offenders that people well, that just now, don't cater? Like I said, there's where I, I do give them, you know, like I'll go by like the other day I went by and there was a mower sitting in the yard, you know. So I said, Okay, you know. They're they're fixing to fixing to do something, you know. Give them another week, two weeks, still mower's gone, nothing happened, you know. You know, I mean, so I, you know, it, it was just one of them things that, uh, and I mean, I know things come up, mm -hmm. but, uh, and, but most of the ones that I'm, I'm coming up on are, are not the elderly or the, you know, they're the ones that's having their yards mowed, uh, you know, and, and stuff of that nature. It's the ones that, you know, can yeah. and, and just, and like I said, I, I give them all the chances in the world I you know, if I, if I see something, you know, I don't just, right. I'll give them, you know, several opportunities. And, and we drive around all the time. I mean, you know. Well, it was funny whenever whenever he, uh, we left the last meeting, I was weeding that ditch line. And uh, he was just pointing his finger at me. I was like, yeah, all right, I ain't going to pay that fine. We didn't ditch, and I was like. <laughs> 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 but, you know, you know we, we drive around all the time. And, and uh you know, and, and like I said, I give everybody the opportunity to, to you know, do something within a reasonable amount of time and before I, I mean, because I know how it is, you know. David, do you have the, uh, the the minutes of your meeting? Yes, I do. Uh, can we get a copy of that to, and um, where it was voted on? Yeah. And then, um, and then I, we need to take that to Tara. We'll give that, we'll give this to Tara for the recommendation. And then at the next meeting, yeah, we'll uh, I'll get you a copy of okay. that. Okay, no, I, I got I got I got copies. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you can keep that. Okay, yeah. and then um, we'll have this ready for the next meeting, and then then we'll do the first reading of the ordinance at the next meeting okay. at the recommendations. 
Um, and I'm sure they'll have to all, well, I'm sure they, they'll have to be rewrote, I guess. Or, oh, that's fine. It's just your, yeah, okay. your committee needs to vote on it, and so this committee knows that your committee made that recommendation. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's yeah. why you're okay. proposing that. Okay, so yeah. Yeah. thank you, David. I appreciate yeah. that, and um, we'll have we'll have something ready for the next meeting, and you can give that to Tara, and um, we can work on that at the next meeting as sure. well on, on on prices if that's what you think. So. Yes. All right. All right. Uh, back down here to we did, and it, it's just going to be uh, or it'll be I guess rewritten and it may not even be something that y'all may just be us but or it's the scrap metal junk or abandoned vehicles or homes. Yeah. We think that needs to be homes need to be took off of that. Uh, homes should be put down here with unsafe and unfit structures. I don't know why homes is is uh, but and like I said, I think that may just be something that okay. needs to be rewritten. You're talking about but, the placement of the word home to move yes. it in front of the word unsafe. Yes. yes. Okay. It okay. should be down with unsafe, unfit structure. Okay. Right. Yes. Okay. Very good. Yep. Appreciate that. Thank, Thank you. Thank you all. Promise. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's what it takes. So appreciate it. Yep. Is anybody else in the and the public have anything that they need to discuss or anything? Nancy? I don't know. It might take a little time, but I'll be last because I'm last. Do what now? I'm last. I'm not last. Uh, yeah, so um, unless anybody else got anything. You no, know, I brought up all the stuff, but I'm going to ask you to do it again. Yeah. Because I'm going to have to go through all the stuff. Yeah. Because I'm going to have to go through yeah, she brought it up, and yeah. that was in the first of the meeting, and we done the we done the first reading on that. Okay, because I've, I've got all the finished, and I wanted you to know who helped me with all this because he's the director of Mercer County, mm-hmm. so I couldn't hardly question him. Uh, Sean Moore did this. He's Mercer County Joint Planning and Zoning Commissioner, uh, Executive Director. And the reason I had to have help was because a bunch of the laws changed, and especially the signage. Okay. So I had to, I had to redo the, uh, all the forms for pub, you know the public when you get ready to put out signs for elections because you can't say elections and you can't okay. say political. You, you know I can only use a size. So that's in here and redone as well, um, and some other terms and things that changed. But that's otherwise he's done it really well. Huh? Okay. So y'all, y'all want to see what I've done, which is upgraded from... Is that... The do you have copies for everybody? or? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so... And uh, uh, Beaver Dam, I talked with them, and they're going to vote on theirs the second... Well, it'll be the eighth, I think. Okay. This is the second Monday of the month. And okay. then go ahead and have another special and we'll get it through. So that's, that's all I wanted, and I'm glad to get rid of this stuff. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> it's been awful hard. Yeah. But... I can and if you it, all have any questions, like I said, at the next meeting, uh, we, this is the first reading. If you all have any questions for Nancy in the process of this planning and zoning, uh, by all means, call Nancy or Tara Ward, and uh, they'll be able to answer your questions. Yeah, I wonder, did you all, anyone have any suggestions you wanted me to change something? I didn't hear anything. There, there may be when I get through with it. Pardon me? <laughs> there may be when I get through with it. <laughs> Well, you go over it. I'll, I'll let you call. Her, so you don't have to worry about it. I'll shred her copy. <laughs> 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 but I do appreciate you all being Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate Thank you. it. Time to get it done. So, does any, thank you, Nancy. Yes. Thank you. Does anybody else from the public have anything that they need to bring forward? If not, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn this meeting. I make a motion we adjourn. Second. Oh, I'm sorry, I did. I didn't do roundtable discussion. Um, Jeff, do you have anything? I do not, Mary. I'm thank sorry. You. Thank you, Dustin. Uh, Again, Stacia? I felt like I missed something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nothing specific. Just excited about all the stuff Hartford is doing. The bus, the signage, the you know, kind of market in our little town and all the improvements. I just see a lot of good stuff coming down the pipe. So that's all I got. Thank you. Eat that, Jerry.
Mr. Likens. I'll stick with my motion and we adjourn. <laughs> I negate Mr. Likens' motion. I don't care which gate you go through. You go through Tony, do you have anything, buddy? I have a first by Jerry, second by Mary Bell. All in favor say aye. Aye. Hold the lights motion carried. Motion to adjourn. Thank you all. <laughs>